So this video is being made two years after I started YouTube. Yep, it's my two year anniversary video. So as a thank you for supporting me, I thought I would do a giveaway. It's Wendy here again from Team Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm making something to make something. Now that sounds really pathetic, doesn't it? But in order to turn a sphere on a lathe, you need to have the cups on the end or a sphere jig. Well, I don't have a sphere, get, sphere jig. And the cups on the ends are so rare available in this country. I've searched and searched and searched over the last year to try and find them. And I can get them imported from America or other countries, but it costs so much to do that. And they're expensive anyway. So a friend of mine, Mark, who's shop dog, and I will put his link in the top right hand corner, whichever corner it is, and in the description box below, did a video on how he made his own ones. So I watched the video and I asked him a few questions and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this myself. So come along with my journey and see if I can actually turn a sphere. Yeah, we'll see. This is a non-marking mallet. I bought mine from Amazon at the cost of £6 odd. I'm sure you can get them cheaper. I think marks were £3. And I'm cutting the ends off. Now this particular mallet doesn't have anything in the centre other than wood. I know that because I've taken it apart and there's no nail or screw in there. It's just wood. So that's handy, but be warned, this is a warning right from the start. Rubber dulls your blades. It'll dull the blades on the bandsaw, on any saw that you cut it with, and it will dull your blades when you're turning them. I went through this bandsaw blade not realising that I dulled it and ended up having to buy a new one. And the carboid tools that I was using to turn, I had to turn round at the end of making these. So be prepared to use an old bandsaw blade and maybe old carbide blades. If you use traditional tools, you can sharpen them obviously as often as you need to. And although I cut them this thick, you really don't need to. You could get four pieces out of these two that I've cut. I know that now as well. So I have the two pieces of rubber that are going to make the cups for the spheres. Now I need two blanks, one for the headstock and one for the tail stock. The tail stock is going to be a little tricky however, but the headstock is pretty simple. Anyone that's followed me for a while knows I'm a new turner. I've only had a lathe for a year and this is all new to me. I've only just started using traditional tools and I may not be using them correctly, however, I can get them to do what I want them to do and that's the main thing, right? This is just a spare piece of wood I had laying around and I've shaped it slightly at one end, put a tenon on the other and I'm going to be putting it back into a chuck with a tenon on it. That's to hold it steady to make sure I can shape and properly do the other end. The other end is going to be the blank piece for the towel stock sphere cup and what I decided to do was make it so that I could put it inside my towel stock piece. I think Mark explained that he made a cup to go the, over the top of the towel stock, but my towel stock has a interchangeable end piece, so they come out. So I figured I'd be able to make a piece that goes in instead of over the top. So that's what I'm trying to do. Make a piece that goes inside the towel stock and have the rubber sphere cup attached to that. It also needs a tenon though because I need to turn it down. So I'm going to be putting a tenon on it as well before I cut it off with a flat base so that I can actually turn it as well with the rubber on it. I hope that makes sense. That's the plan. That's what I'm trying to do. I've put lines in it so that I can put bands on it because when it goes into the tail stock, unless it's completely tight, it'll need to be. So I figured elastic bands would work. I find it difficult to explain all this, but hopefully by the time you get to the end of the video, you'll see what I'm doing and see what and understand why I've done things. I've put a tenon on that one. I'm now cutting it off. I'm happy with the end piece being the right size and having the grooves in it for the elastic bands. I'm not going to bother sanding this. 
completely there's no point it's a waste block at the end of the day so I'm cutting it off with a parting tool and that it now is ready to be glued with the non-marking mallet piece on top so I'm using some two-part epoxy aerodite glue and I've scored both parts and I'm going to glue them together and set them aside hopefully it's in the center but it doesn't really matter because it's going back on the lathe to be turned and I'm going to clamp them up so this one is going in as a towel stock the headstock one is really simple it's just a waste block if you can make a waste block you can do this again I've scored it and I'm sticking the non-marking mallet piece to the block clamping it up and leaving it to cure I only left them a couple of hours and they were solid so that's all it needed so this is where I start to turn I've put the towel stock one in first attached it with the tenon and I'm using my carbide tools to turn it down now there is something to remember here that you may not be doing large spheres you may be doing small spheres really you need these cups to be quite small I was thinking the bigger the better really but that's not the case because they get in the way so the first time when I turned took out the middle I took it down quite light it wasn't very deep and you'll see when I did the other one as well I tried to make them the same size but I didn't have a sphere or a ball or anything to measure it against so I was just guessing basically but it was turning like a dream I mean this rubber is easy to turn little did I know it was dull in my tools but it doesn't matter but I was happy with the way it was coming out so now I did the, the headstock one again exactly the same I tried to make it the same sort of size it's only later that I realized they needed to be a lot smaller this is why I said that you could probably get four of one of those non-marking mallets. It seriously does not need to be this deep and this big. But I'm making the centre again and I'm trying to do the same as I did the previous one. So I'm happy that they're very, very similar, the same sort of depth. So I'm going to try them out. I'm going to take the piece out of the centre of the towel stock and I'm going to take these bands that are hair bands they are really really thin clear hair bands and put them within the grooves and wrap around the base so that I can put it into the towel stock area and pushing it quite firmly into this towel stock I now have myself a rubber sphere cup for the towel stock and the headstock so trying them out and I'm happy with the way they seem to be working so that's good they're turning really nicely together so now I need something to try them out with so I'm turning a piece of random wood that I have it is literally spare wood that I've got floating around in the garage and I'm making it into roughly a sphere by hand before I start to use the sphere cups now it's only a small piece of wood so I could only make a small sphere so this is when I realized that the cups that I've made are far too big so I've put them back on the chuck and I'm taking them down to a more manageable size for I would imagine most spheres you do not need them that big and you need them deeper as well they were quite shallow so this video is being made two years after I started YouTube yep it's my two year anniversary video so as a thank you for supporting me, I thought I would do a giveaway. So one lucky person will win the item at the end of this video that I hold up and show you. You'll have to wait to the end of the video to find out what it is. But it would be pretty obvious, I think. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is to pop over to toonpish.com, have a look through the About Me, and find out how many years I was debating whether to start a YouTube channel and you must be subscribed to my channel write that number in the comments section below and you will be in with a chance of winning the item at the end of the video so as today is Tuesday the 6th of September I'll let this run for a week I will draw the winner by random comment generator on Monday the 12th of September and announce the winner on Tuesday the 13th of September within that video 
Whoever wins will have a week to contact me via email. My email address is in the information page on my about section on YouTube. And you can also email me through toonpish.com. Either way, you need to get a hold of me within a week. There's no money alternative for this giveaway. And if nobody claims, it will go to charity. So good luck, everybody. And thank you so much again for supporting my little channel. I really appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. Once I'd actually reduced their size, they would then be able to turn a ball, a sphere, a globe, a circle, whatever you want to call it, wooden ball. That's the plan. Now basically, you just keep cutting away a bit at a time and turning it round and turning it round and turning it round and turning it round until you've got a sphere. That's basically what you've got to do. Now, obviously that reduces the size of it. And occasionally it wasn't sitting quite right with the tail stock and the headstock. You just keep going with it. It does take a little time, but it's fun. And it was the first sphere that I'd ever made. So I searched around the garage and I found some resin and I thought I'm gonna to have to make a resin ball. So I did the same technique as before. It's a bit bigger this one, so it fits better. The trouble with the resin is you have to sand it a lot. So there was a lot of sanding involved in this, but the rubber cups worked absolutely brilliantly. They did need to be smaller. I don't know what I was thinking when I made them so big. If you make these, you really do not need to use the whole amount of rubber that I did. And just remember that they does dull your tools. You will need to sharpen them if you're using traditional tools or turn them around if you're using carbides once you've done this because the rubber is terrible. But I made a sphere. I am over the moon, over the moon, absolutely delighted with the fact that I've made a sphere. And yes, it does need a lot of sanding and buffing and polishing, but wow, I did it. So I got a sphere jig. I'm so, so happy that this worked. And I think the, end, the bit on the end to, to go in my lathe was ingenious, even if I just say to myself. And I made a sphere. It's not perfect, it's not sanded. It's got all little lumps and bumps over it and it's tiny really, but it is a sphere. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let's see if I've got any scrap resin around anywhere. See if I can make something that's a bit bigger and made of resin. And I found this scrap resin and it was just the right size. So I made a sphere. And I'm absolutely over the moon with it. It does look a bit like an eyeball if you look at it this way. Got to be honest, but <laughs> it wasn't intentional. And I love it. I made a sphere after all this time and all wanting to made a sphere. So that means I can potentially put things in resin and turn them into crystal balls and yeah, I can't wait to carry on with this. Thank you so much, Mark, for telling me how to do this in your video. It's a very good video and I hope mine does his justice, really. It's not my idea. And if you can get to grips with either one of the videos and make your own sphere jig, then that would be great. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm going to be up to. I never know what I'm going to be up to. Have a great week. Happy crafting and bye for now. So this sphere is the one that you could win in the giveaway. Find the answer on toonpish.com, write the answer in the comments in a number form and I will use a random comment generator to pick the winner. It will be announced on the 13th of September 2022. Good luck.